Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and this is the Sassy Scoop, where I review a viral video or a top 10 list. And New Year's Eve is a great time of year to celebrate and have a drink or two or 10 or as many as it takes to get to the levels of drunkenness that I'm about to show you. Speed bumps on the road aren't just for cars. They're also for drunk people. I bet you didn't know that. And that's why this show is considered to be educational by drunk people and nobody else. Now I'm no expert, but I'd say that if somebody tries to drink out of the breathalyzer, there's a good chance that you can just call it a night and book them, Dano. I've always wanted to say that. Can't find your keys after a night at the bar? Just use your head. And if you're giving that advice to drunk people, make sure they know that you mean figuratively, not literally. But they won't. Sometimes the police officer needs you to walk down a line to see if you've been drinking. And sometimes he just needs you to help him lay down the line to know. He'll probably feel that tomorrow. When you start to lose the ability to hold things, like your head, with your neck, that might be a good time to stop drinking, or at least only have a couple more. It's called a crosswalk, not a crawl walk, but they do sound similar, and really, you are getting across it either way, so I guess as you were. And good luck with your knees. Sometimes people get the munchies when they've been drinking, and sometimes, while they're trying to get at those munchies, they knock down an entire display and pass out. He looks comfortable though. Speaking of being comfortable, if somebody passes out in the bathroom, it's nice if you give them a couple of pillows. That way they can be very comfy-ish. Something tells me this girl is a dancer or a gymnast. Or at least I hope she was that flexible before she got this drunk. At least the toilet seat is ensuring that she has a nice flat back for proper stretching. Falling asleep on a grassy area probably seems like a great idea when you're drunk, but if you do that, you better just hope and pray that when the weed whacker comes around, they're a professional and they know what they're doing, and they pay close attention to detail. Like this one. I mean, how I don't see body parts or blood anywhere is a mystery to me. Thanks for watching the Sassy Scoop and Happy New Year! Here's to hoping that 2015 is the best one yet. Check out my last two videos of 2014 right over there and subscribe if you're new because i'm sure this year is going to have lots of great viral videos and top 10 lists for me to make fun of i mean review bye i'm no expert but if somebody tries to drink out of a breathalyzer i'm pretty sure it's filled with vodka i'm no expert but if that breathalyzer looks like vodka and it smells like vodka it's probably a breathalyzer you drunk i'm no expert but i would say that that does look a lot like a vodka bottle I don't get out much.